All right, we're back and we figured there's a lot of technical side of things with your counseling appointment that you could prepare for. So um, we thought it would be a good idea to kind of walk you through what web advisor is all about. And then we'll talk a little bit of other things later. So Matt, tell us what we need to do for a web advisor. Definitely. So I'm going to share my screen with everybody so you can just get a quick idea of exactly what this is. But what we hope to accomplish here is just a quick overview of some things WebAdvisor can do. So as you can see, um, your username in WebAdvisor is just that K number. Um, and then the password is something you created. If you can't remember it, if it's one of those things, I understand. Um, and it's okay. Uh, just contact the student help desk and they'll help you get that all sorted out. But once you log into WebAdvisor, um, you'll see all these different sections and things like uh, menu options. If you just click the blue students icon, um, now you're at kind of this main screen and this is where most of the magic happens here. Um, so you see if you have any, um, anything you need to know about like financial information, anything like that, um, if you need to make a payment, if you just wanna view your statement, um, if you need to set up a payment plan, things like that, those can be all taken care of from those options. Um, maybe you want to check to see if you were awarded financial aid, um, if you already applied, or if you're going to apply in the future um, for something like that. Um, you can view all that there. Um, registration, we're going to spend some time here in a second. And then uh, if we go down to academic profile, you can just see some other things. Um, your class schedule, that'll be helpful. We'll get to that. Um, your GPA by term, that's somewhere you're going to want to be checking down in the future. Um, if you need to do a transcript request or anything else, that can be taken care of there. So registration, um, and maybe this is something you'll do with um, your counselors on your appointment, um, but this is something you can do in advance or you can do after the fact, or if you're even on the call and if they have time, I'm sure if you asked your counselor, um, maybe you guys could do this then. But if you click on the first option, um, search for sections. So you see you can select the fall semester right there. That's what we're gonna be looking at for this example. And for this example, um, as a rep, what type of course should I pick here? Let's look at business. All right, business courses right here. Uh, course levels, uh, most of the courses you'll probably be looking at are gonna be 100 levels for this. Uh, they're first year courses, those are standard courses. Um, and we don't know any, any of this information just yet, so we're just gonna leave that blank. Um, in addition, we also wanna view all of the course offerings for this example. So just by leaving all these sections blank, we'll pull all of the available options. Um, if you knew um, a certain instructor or something like that, and you knew you wanted to take it with them, for example, you could input their name right there. Um, but for this example, we're just gonna leave those blank. So once we click submit, it is gonna generate um, the business courses that are being offered um, at IBCC this fall semester. So you can see, for example, we're gonna look at introduction to business, that's business 1010, and then afterwards is the um, section number. So the course number is the 1010, and the number after is the section number. Those are things you're gonna need um, when you actually register for your classes, and we'll get to that here in a second. But anyways, let's just look at introduction to business. So this top one right here, uh, we can see it's located on the main campus, which is in Oldsby. Um, this is when the semester run from, so that looks about right, fall semester. And this one is um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from eight to 9.15. Uh, with um, Robert Reese is his name and the class since options haven't opened yet um, there's fully open right now um, you can also see the price and everything like that um, but let's look at this one right here so the only difference between this right here is the um, section number and basically what that means is this has a different section number because this is offered on Monday Wednesday Friday from 8 30 to 9 20 so uh, maybe you want to take a Monday Wednesday Friday class or Tuesday Thursday um, if neither of those options work for you, there's also one that says internet um, days to be announced. So you can see that is online only. So that class is only taught via online um, and that's just something different. Um, but basically what you can do here is then say I'm interested in um, business 10101, let's just do business 101101, this Tuesday, Thursday class. I recently, I, I, I'm actually in this class right now at the time of recording this. Um, and I like this class, this is a good class. So then what I can do is once I've figured out, all right, this is the class I'm gonna take, once I've worked out my schedule, and a good idea here what you can do is you can just kind of take a sheet of paper and just put at the top, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
and then just work your way down of, all right, this business 10, 10, 01 class is taught Tuesday, Thursday from 8, 30 or 8, 8, from 8 to 9, 15. So I could go on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I could um, just write that in business 10, 10, 01, 8 to 9, 15. And then you can do that with all the courses you're planning on taking. And even if you're not sure of, all right, let me put this business Monday, Wednesday, Friday class on there too. And then I can pick the one that works the best with my schedule. It's just a nice way to visualize it. But once I'm sure of, all right, this is the course I'm going to take, um, I can go what's called register for sections. Um, and for this example, I do know the number, so I could go to express registration, that business 1010-01. But for here, I'm just going to search again. Um, so fall semester, um, business, course level, uh, first year, and it was 1010. So let's just put that in just so we're showing our introduction to business classes. And I wanted that Tuesday, Thursday one that looks correct. So I can select that and then click submit. And now uh, basically what that means is this is on my preferred sections. So registration has not opened just yet um, at the time of this recording. So what you can do is you can go and I'm pretty sure you can add as many classes as you'd like. Don't quote me on that, uh, but you can add as many classes as you'd like to this preferred sections. And then um, basically what you can do is once registration fully opens and the panic is on and panic is again not the right word there but it's it might seem like that at the time um once that actually opens um you can then go in and do this option right here register for previously selected sections you can click that and there it is just right there it saves it um i know it's great and then you can click register and you'd want to do that for all those classes and before you click submit just maybe look at them all one more time. All right, this is Tuesday, Thursday. Make sure you don't have any duplicates selected. Um, or I think the program will tell you if you sign up for two classes at the same time. Uh, but that's where making that schedule on paper would be nice um, to make sure that doesn't happen. But again, then you can click register and then just click submit. And normally it would go through. Um, but right now it doesn't work because I'm already in that class, I think. Yes, I am right here, as you can see. Uh, but normally it would work. Um, so that's what we, we recommend doing for that. Um, Ezra, do you have any thoughts? That is perfect. And I think that really covers what students need and, and have an idea of how to navigate WebAdvisor. So thanks, Matt. Definitely. And if you have any further questions, um, we just recommend contacting your counselor or the student help desk. Thank you.